I'm David, Bishop of Basingstoke. I found myself thinking quite a lot about the meal table and eating together over the last few weeks. Sometimes because, of course, it's become more important in the household during the lockdown. And I found that we've wanted to say a few prayers as we've gathered to eat. It's actually quite reminiscent of the early church. It's clear that the early church started by gathering in people's homes to discuss together, to pray together and to share a common life. We find in the record of Jesus' life and ministry that meals were particularly significant. The Last Supper, of course, when he broke bread and said, remember me when you do this. Or the evening meal in Emmaus after the walk from Jerusalem, when the stranger broke bread and in that moment they recognised this is Jesus. In Luke's Gospel, in every chapter bar one, some of Jesus' most significant work is done in the context of the meal table. I find myself reflecting on this because I, like you, am looking forward to the end of the fast, the, the way we haven't been able to gather for communion services. And as the church reopens, I look forward to the day when we can safely break bread together in the liturgy of communion. But why don't you and I seize the opportunity to deepen our walk with the Lord in our households, in the everyday action that Jesus took and made something deeply significant out of. And maybe when you sit down to a meal, you would pause with me, remember the Lord's presence, remember something of what he has taught and ask that we might be equipped as we go forward together. Shall I pray now? Lord, for the communion of saints, for the gathering around the Eucharist, for the people of God in every home. We celebrate your presence and ask your blessing this day and wisdom as we face the future. In Jesus' name. Amen.